Can't you understand that I'm struggling right now, game? I don't need any more blue smurf bastards attacking me. Somehow, once again, though, this wall is just enough to survive another wave. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. My hand hurts from all this wall building. All right, let's build another wall. How's it going guys? Dragast here and welcome back to another IO game. Today we're checking out a new one called Zoms.io. Now this is actually a very unique one as compared to the other ones that we've been playing. Uh, this is another one where you're building up a fortress but it comes uh, with zombies as well. So basically waves of zombies come and attack your fortress. You have to try and deal with them all while dealing with, you know, typical IO experience PvPers as well. Uh, and it's actually really difficult and really fun. There's a lot of upgrading to it. Uh, it does look a lot like uh, Moomoo.io, but it doesn't really play like it. So, here we are. Here's our little guy. Basically, what happens is once we put down this gold stash, we got to build around that, and that is our lifeline. Once that dies, you actually die. You we can respawn uh, at your gold stash whenever you die. Now, that being said, there's going to be zombies when I put down that gold stash, so we don't really want to do that just yet. Uh, there's going to be people PvPing us as, as well, so we obviously don't want to put it down too early, when we, especially when we don't have any resources because we need to defend that. Also, there's a shop system. We'll get more into that later on, but basically you buy your weapons in there. Uh, that is something you start to earn when you do get your gold mines down, which you need uh, for your base. Now, I'm seeing these two things together. You always want in these games... Two resources stuck together, that's going to get both the resources at the same time, so this is obviously a really good spot. So I think we'll build our base right over here somewhere, uh, once we do collect a little bit of these resources. I want to collect a lot of them first, because I don't think the zombies come until you put down your gold stash. They're kind of like leprechauns, they don't care about you, they just care about the money, damn it. So yeah, as you can see, night is fast approaching, that's what this little bar is down here, daylight and nightlight, uh, nightlight, nighttime. Uh, and yeah, once night comes, the zombies come. So we'll see if they attack me. I don't think they they attack players. They just attack, uh, gold mines. So we should be totally fine to gather throughout the night here. And then we should have a decent amount of resources to actually start building our base in the morning time. All right, I think that should be more than enough. I don't think we need many resources at the start. Uh, there is tiers in this game, by the way, as well. We'll get more into that as we start developing this. So, uh, I want this somewhere in a nice open space because we're going to build around it. That's going to be the center of our base. So, now that we have that, I'm just going to put some walls all the way around this thing. That way, it's obviously at least basically safe. Uh, now that we have that done, uh, we're going to start getting into the weapons here, and that's when it gets fun. So, I think I'm gonna put... Yeah, we'll do two can... You know what? Let's just do cannons all the way around this thing. And, uh, yeah, we are going to beef, beef up the defenses really, really quickly here. Oh, oh, you motherfucker! See, that's the problem! You get the fuck out of here! Okay, spin, spin. Don't, don't, don't attack my shit if you want a team! No team! Just go away, please. I don't want a team... I just want to set up my base. Oh, now I feel bad. Okay, he just made a sad face. I, I Honestly, I don't know why anyone would want to team in an IO game. I don't trust anybody in IO games, so I generally don't team. Uh, so night is quickly approaching. I t spent most of my day fighting off that guy when I really didn't need to fight him. I feel kind of bad now. Uh, and, of course, gathering resources. But we have lots of cannons right now, so we should be okay. Oh, that's why I couldn't put down the cannons, because we don't have any more of them, so... I uh, probably should have looked at that real quick. We should be totally fine to deal with these first waves. The, do, the waves do get progressively harder. And yeah, for this first base, I think we're just going to have a very beefy small base. So we're going to put all the weapons around. I didn't really showcase these weapons either. Uh, we got arrow towers, cannon towers, bomb towers, mage towers, and of course the gold mines, which I, in retrospect, should have put down before the weapons. But uh, you know what? Sometimes you just screw up. Okay, now now I'm really screwing up, so we're gonna sell that. Uh, oh my god, I'm really screwing up now. This is this, this is making me very angry. Uh, but yeah, I probably should have put the gold mines down in the middle. That's totally fine, though. I actually like the idea of having them as defense instead of losing my weapons when they're attacked. So basically, they need to kill these before they can kill my weapons. But that is a really beefed up middle of the tower. Uh, I probably should have put a few more... Yeah, we're, we're going to put some of the weapons out here, so when the zombies run in, they'll be damaged as well. Especially with these bomb towers, they should work really good at that. Uh, what else do we have left? We got lots of mage towers, so we'll put these out in the outskirts as well. And uh, we might need to add some defense to these things. I don't know. We'll see how much they get damaged 
uh, with this first wave that's coming in. Okay, we can't... Oh, I, I, is, is there a limitation on how far I can go out? Yes, there is. You can see the red. So you can't make your base as big as the map, unfortunately. Not that you have enough resources to do that anyways. Uh, but yeah, we're making this nice and spread now. So six out of six, six out of six... Six out of six, and we just need the arrow tower. So I think what we're going to do before that is build a little wall around this thing. So, uh, night is fast approaching, get to safety. Well, I don't really have safety yet. I don't really got a choice but to hang out out here. So we're going to do that and build this wall really quickly. Oh, actually, we're out of resources. We should be, again, totally fine to uh, just not attack the zombies the at this night uh, because they are so small. You can see... Uh, we have so many weapons down, we're doing just fine right now. But we are going to have to help out the weapons later on once these uh, waves get harder and harder. So I'm just going to focus on gathering right now. Actually, now that we're earning some money, we should probably upgrade our pickaxe. That would be smart uh, to gather two at a time. Alright, that should be enough resources. So we're going to want to put... I guess we'll just put the door right here. Uh, not too worried about using that door. The only time I'm going to use it is when I need to get into safety from PvPers or the zombies. So... Uh, that should be totally fine, and we'll just have a nice big wall all around this thing. Now, I am worried about the range of these weapons. I think they should still be in range, and it's going to be totally safe in there. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And now that we got that wall up, uh, we can also do more walls. How many? Okay, we have lots of different blocks we can use. We can do 250 of these, so I'm going to put another wall around all my units so they're a little bit more safe, because they can break down the walls pretty easily. And once they do that, I'd rather not my weapons die because they're expensive to repair. So, there we go. Have a nice wall all the way around this thing. A little bit of a tight squeeze, but that's actually probably a good thing. I don't want to make this too big again. Oh, am I? Oh, I'm all out of wood. I probably should have paid attention. Night is fast approaching again. And again, I'm not really going to focus on the zombies just yet, but you can see how quick this game is. Basically, you don't have time to deal with other people. You're kind of playing by yourself, but there's other people around. And here comes the zombies! Uh, oh, okay, so yeah, they can't get in through the door, as you can see. Only I can get in through that. Uh, should I help? I don't think I should help just yet. I think they're doing just fine here. So, again, we're gonna focus on gathering throughout this, and then putting in all the walls. And I might actually move a lot of these weapons into uh, the wall as well, just to keep them safe. Or, I'd, actually, I think I'll just leave them out here until they die, and then once they die, I'll put them in inside the walls. Uh, that way we're not wasting a full day doing that as well. But there we go. We got lots of resources now. So how this works, you can, you're can probably saying, well, you're getting to the end of the game now. Not really because there's different tiers. So we already have enough gold to upgrade to the next tier. I don't know if I'm going to do that just yet. I want to make sure I have a good castle in place first. And then we will upgrade to that, uh, which will obviously give us the next tier, which is uh, stronger weapons, stronger armor, stronger everything. Now, on top of that, we are also going to want to buy weapons soon. So, I think I'm going to buy the bomb right now. That's the best thing to deal with uh, the zombies. So, you know what? I think I will upgrade the bomb quite drastically. We got a tier 3 bomb now. So, that's going to help us out when the zombies do come. So, obviously, we're going to want to help out. So, we're going to want to help out because we have a lot of damage to help uh, these weapons attack the zombies. So, next goal for me is going to be upgrading my gold coffers and upgrading everything. So once that's upgraded, basically you can upgrade everything else. Uh, but you have to upgrade that first before you can upgrade anything. So uh, now that we have some spare time, I'm just going to focus on gathering as much as possible right now because we are going to need this later on in the game. All right, but now that night is here, I think I should get ready to attack these guys. Here they come. Yes, let's see how good these bombs are. So... Oh yeah, they take them down really, really quickly. They also have a blast radius that is a bomb after all. So once they do get in big groups, you can kill them really, really quickly. And as you can see, our fort is holding up just fine right now. It's not too bad. We're only on wave four though. Uh, how's the first place guy doing? Wave 31. I don't, I, I don't want to see how hard those waves are going to be. I think I might actually get rid of these over here and add one more door in here so I don't need to run all the way around and waste time every time I want to go inside. So, now it's time to upgrade. So we upgrade that, and now we can actually upgrade all the walls and all the weapons. Let's actually upgrade the weapons first. Uh, I'm not really having issues with defense right now, so obviously the weapons are the most important thing to upgrade right now, right now, and the gold, actually. The gold should always be upgraded right away. That way we're earning as much gold as possible all the time. So there we go. We got all those done. We'll upgrade these. And yeah, so far, this is going really, really well. I'm going to say it's not going to last like that that much longer, though, because uh, these waves do get 
pretty damn hard really quickly. Thankfully, I got a lot of resources, so we can upgrade all this within like a day, which is crazy. Okay, so we are out of resources now, but we upgraded most of it at least, and now we can go back to gathering. All right, and here comes the next wave. Now, instead of attacking the zombies, because I would help a little bit, but my defenses are so good and my offense is so good right now that I think I'm just going to gather throughout this. That way we're not wasting any time gathering. And as you can see, they're dying so quickly. Mind you, they do have weapons now, so I'm going to want to upgrade that outer wall to tier 2 because those weapons will knock down those uh, bricks really, really quickly. So once these guys are all done, once it's daytime and we have a decent amount of resources, I'm going to upgrade the outer wall. All right, that should be more than enough to deal with this, and upgrading these are really slow, so we're going to have to probably spend all day doing this, because it is not the best layout. Uh, everything in terms of this game, in terms of building, is amazing. The only thing I don't like is upgrading, especially these little things. I should be able to, like, drag uh, and upgrade as many things as I want. I think that would make this m a much better game. Not that it's bad now, but it's just really annoying having to upgrade quite literally 250 of these by the end of the game because of how many walls you need to be successful in this game. It's not a huge issue, just uh, my one minor complaint about this game. Aside from that, though, uh, one of the better IO games that I've played for sure. All right, I did do it much faster, though, than I thought I would. I'm getting pretty good at playing this game. This is kind of one of those games that I play when I'm bored, uh, as with typical with IO games. Uh, they are the ultimate uh, board game. But yes, there we go. So we got that all done. Uh, everything's upgraded in here. What do I need for the next tier? So I need 10,000 gold to get to the next tier. So, well, these guys are fighting. I think I'm just going to upgrade even more in here because we're doing just fine right now. And I might actually add another layer to the outside wall because we have so many of these stones that we can use. Here they come. There's quite a few of them. Actually, it's getting kind of scary out there, but uh, my weapons should hopefully deal with them. I might need to repair a few things here that we are getting later into the game. But you know what? It's actually working really well, I think. And yes, they have all died. And look at this. I love that this uh, castle's so small, too, that I can upgrade, like, all sides of it uh, in one area. The, 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 the range of upgrading is really nice in this game. So you don't really got to move too much, and you can upgrade your whole place. All right, this is actually really good timing, though. We needed 10,000 to get to the next tier, and it's looking like we are all tier 2 now. So this is a really good layout, and we're about to hit tier 3. So should I do it now? I don't think I will. I think I'm actually going to go back to gathering. Uh, so I'm going to spend some money on a better pickaxe, because I want to get as much gathering done now as possible, because I know we're not going to have time to do that later on. So I think we can survive an another wave with only tier 2, and I think it's going to be worth it. And just like that, we're actually almost back to the big 10,000, so definitely tomorrow we're going to go to Tier 3, and now we have enough resources to actually utilize that Tier 3, so it was probably really smart that I spent that whole day just gathering. Oh my god, though, I might be regretting this now. Look at how many there is. Okay, my, 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 my outer weapons are dying, which is good. I'm going to have time to put them inside, but my god, thankfully, my, my damage output is quite drastic right now. They did break through, though. Which is scaring me a little bit. So, oh, that was actually... Was that my door? Yes, it was. Okay, so we're going to get rid of those. And put the door back in. So I think we should upgrade our walls now. Uh, but I also need to upgrade to Tier 3. So uh, I think it'd be smarter to just go to Tier 3 right now. So let's do that. All right, so we're going to upgrade to Tier 3. First thing I'm going to do is, uh, I think, the walls here. I feel like we need this defense drastically. And it shouldn't take me too long to do this. Uh, and then we're going to do the inside weapons. Uh, a lot of the outside weapons I kind of want to die because then I can put them inside and keep this nice refined castle we got going on here uh, working. All right, but I guess actually I should do the gold right now at least. So let's do that real quick. Uh, this is going to waste a lot of my resources though. You can see how quickly it's going to use the resources now because we are getting into higher tiers. So I'm going to have to upgrade my hatchet. We still don't have really any of the weapons either. So... Uh, it's a fine line between, you know, building your castle and building your character. I'm kind of focusing on my castle right now. I might be regretting that later on, but I think it's going to be nice to have a nice, strong castle. Uh, I don't know why I put that there, but let's get that out of the way. And night is fast approaching, so I need to get this done quick. Mind you, we are going to get the walls done just in time. Uh, and hopefully I can just upgrade most of these weapons while we're in here. So there we go. We got that. We got... Oh! No, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, okay, so bomb tower, go back in. 
Uh, I, I really wish the sell button was kind of in a hidden spot or something. It's way too easy to hit it. All right, and here comes the enemies. The, uh, we're doing just fine dealing with them, though. I did have enough time to upgrade the majority of these weapons. Uh, how am I doing for resources? Not so good right now, but we got most of them done at least. And now we should be able to buy some more weapons. All right, let's go help and kill this guy. Get out of here, you little sir. And just like that, we're doing just fine. And that, that wall really helped out because as you can see... Uh, I don't think we lost any of it, so yes, that worked really well. Uh, let's go gather, though, because we are going to need some resources. All right, that should be enough resources, so uh, I have time right now, so I'm going to maze, I may as well, anyways, upgrade all this as well, and uh, get all my castle to tier 3. How much is it for tier 4? I think it's 16. Yes, it is, uh, so we're going to obviously start saving up for that, but I also got to think about weapons. Do I, do I want to upgrade my tiers? Or do I want to upgrade my weapons first? I think the tiers of the castle is much more important. I'm going to focus on just upgrading that bomb, I think. And just not having the spear or anything else. There's a bow and whatnot that you can use. But we really don't need those right now. Alright, but it feels really good having all tier 3. Because usually I don't have enough time to do all this. Uh, we have been making really good use of time here. I also still have a lot of wall I can put down. And I think I should start doing that. Uh, so, you know what? Let's just do that right now while these guys come. We're just going to put down a, a wood wall all the way around this thing so it's two tiers wide. And the great thing about these walls is you can just drag and it is so quick to do this. So, let's see once we're done this how many of these things we have left. I'm, I, I, I might even go for a three-tiered wall right now. I, I don't know just yet. Uh, 196? Yeah, screw it. Let's do it. I'm going to go and really beef up my uh, walls here. All right, and there we go. Yes, we have maxed it out, unfortunately. Ooh, really unfortunately. Actually, I can use these doors as walls as well. How many doors do we have? We get 40? I definitely don't need 40 doors. I only need, like, 12. So I think we're just going to use utilize these doors as defenses as well. Uh, let's make sure all these doors are set up first, though, before we do that. And we might just be able to get three tiers of walls. Kind of cheating and using doors. These things are, are they more expensive? Do I, oh yeah, I totally ran out of wood. So I think they are more expensive. Not a big deal though. So let's go help out because these walls are going to die really, really quickly. Actually, I gotta gather a bit. Screw that. As I am gonna need to upgrade all these damn walls, that's gonna take forever. That's at least a two day thing. Uh, oh God, they, okay. So they, they got the machetes now. So I am going to start attacking them because uh, I don't want to deal with having to repair a lot of wooden walls. Yes, please kill these weapons out here. I want you guys to kill those so I can start putting them inside. I think that's what we'll do tomorrow and repair the wall, the walls maybe the next day. Because uh, they are going down really quickly, as you can see. All right, I think we only lost a couple of them, though. They did get through over here, as you can see. But honestly, not too bad. So let's just, just to make it look nice, I'm going to put these in real quick. And then we're going to put some of the weapons that died inside the walls here on, on the side. So we can... Uh, just kind of refine this once again a little bit more. I like the idea of having everything inside. And, of course, all my... I didn't realize I lost that many units. So, all, almost all my arrow towers did die here. So, we're going to put one in each corner here. And that should be all of them. Oh, that's out of range. Okay, am I... I think I'm okay for resources. I probably should have gathered a bit more while I was out there, though. Uh, let's go out and gather some more real quick. But what else do we need? We got a bomb tower we need to put down. Three mage towers. Oh, shit. I might not even have enough space in there for all this. But that's good. I didn't realize I had so few weapons right now that I was only using. So the fact that we were able to hold out is a pretty good indicator. And that was wave 10. I think the, the 10 waves are the hardest ones. So we should have a pretty easy wave next up. Gold's also at 16,000. So we could upgrade to the next tier if we did want to. But again, I have so much to do right now. I don't think that's really a smart thing to do. Uh, first of all, I'm going to put all these doors down so we can finish up that wall. And do I upgrade those or do I put more weapons down? I think I'm going to put more weapons down for right now. Uh, so basically, we don't got any freaking room in here. So I'm going to have to put mage towers right beside these things. Hopefully, I don't, it doesn't get too tight in here because it is getting really tight as you can see. Oh god, they are just destroying those damn walls. It's not a huge deal because they're not going to be able to get through the third walls. I just don't want to have to do a lot of repairs. I don't think I have a choice, though. <laughs> they, they just took down that wood. So you can really see the difference in tiers, though. These things don't last at all. Oh my god, that's actually scary. I didn't expect this wave to be so difficult. And that was wave 11. Uh, well, fuck. Maybe, maybe I should just deal with the walls later on. Because I feel like maybe upgrading would be the better option right now and getting to the better tiered walls. But I also need to gather. I need to do a lot right now. So ugh. the thing is, I can actually take a time out if I want to. 
Uh, basically, you take a day off and you don't get the zombie plague. It costs 10,000, though, and you only get one of them. So I don't know if it's really worth it right now. I think I'm just going to put the walls back down and try and upgrade them as quickly as possible. So let's do that now that it is daytime. Uh, we don't have much time, so I'm going to do this wall. And then this wall, the question is, do I put down all the walls first or do I start upgrading? I think I'm going to start upgrading. That way, uh, these walls won't be broken again, so I w waste more time upgrading them. And here they come. Wow, they came much quicker than I expected. Uh, I think I'm just going to power through this and try and still do the walls. No, you know what? These guys are breaking it. God damn it. So I did get half of it done at least. Uh, the other half is going to take a lot of work, though. You know what? I think we'll be totally fine throughout the night, so I'm just going to gather so we can do this wall really quickly uh, when daytime does come. All right, there we go. We're doing totally fine here. We are currently in fifth place. Uh, we're doing really good, actually. I really like the layout of this, so I'm excited. But as you can see, the walls ain't doing so well over here, so uh, we got we got to fix that really, really quick. Which actually shouldn't take much time at all. It just started the day, so we should at least get this outer wall done. And then I think I might go in. We're at 24,000 gold, so I do need to go to the next tier really soon here. Uh, these waves are just getting too hard with these lower tiers. Oh, are we all out? Okay, so yeah, we gotta start using these now. Alright, but that was actually much quicker than I thought. Uh, you can only place buildings within range. I guess we were not in range. Man, I didn't realize they took so much out over here. This was all reinforced too. That's not good. Okay, well, I guess that's a really good indicator. We should probably upgrade our walls then to the next tier uh, once we do get this all laid down. I still got to put weapons down, though. There's just there's never enough time in this game. Look at the day's already over. It just started, and it's already freaking over. So I got to get these walls done. <laughs> and, of course, I'm out of resources, so I'm not going to be able to get those walls done without the day coming to an end. Oh, this is this is going to get scary now uh, because I'm 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 slowly getting behind on everything. Nothing is fully done just yet and here they come. So, you know what? Upgrade that at least so to help that out. Let's upgrade this. Oh, uh, thankfully these walls are holding up much better as you can see, but still there's just so many people here. Uh, all right, we got so much money. Again, I'm going to upgrade my pickaxe. I need the better pickaxe. There we go. Harvest 3 at a time and it's much quicker. That's very <gasps> oh, shit. I didn't even realize I was being hit. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, God. And I... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just gotta get out of here. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get stuck in there. So that's shitty. I didn't realize that they could attack me. I'm so used to them just focusing on my castle. I didn't expect that. And I just spent money on my hatchet that got reset. Well, this is gonna be fun, guys. This is gonna be real fun. Thankfully, I'm earning gold like crazy right now, so it's not going to be too big of an issue. We're already back basically at my other hatchet. Uh, so, not a huge issue, but they are breaking down my walls and everything's going crazy already. Uh, I don't got enough time to deal with this. Alright, so I think my defenses are fucked right now. Uh, so what I'm going to focus on is offense, because as you can see, my god, they, 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 they took down everything. Look at this. So basically what I'm gonna do is, oh fuck, I don't got enough time! Like, what the fuck? This is crazy! Okay, you know what? Oh, I don't even got enough money to pause the day. I was gonna pause the day, but I need $10,000 for that, so... Uh, yeah, we dropped off quite hard here. Hopefully we can pull it back. Alright, so I got a few resources. Oh my god, I locked it in over there. See, I'm, I, I'm, I'm rushing now and I'm totally screwing up, so I screwed up my door. Uh, thankfully I added two doors for that reason, because I knew I would. Uh, so now we can, you know what, let's just close it off. I don't even care. I just need to get these weapons down. And we got, I could have used a little bit more space in here. I probably should have added a lot more space. I just want to get all my weapons down to make sure my damage output is as good as possible. All of them are down. Now it's time to upgrade as much as I can. Not that that's much because I don't have any fucking resources. Uh, all right. I think, I think it's going to be smart to buy the pickaxe. We need that thing because I need resources Really bad right now, and this is so much faster. Oh my god. It looked like that night, though. It is daytime now, so that night, no zombies came. Thank god. I need to upgrade these weapons. I need to add some more walls. Uh, and then we should be okay again. But again, we're, we're only on tier 3 at level 14. I gotta assume that's not good enough, so we are going to focus on getting that upgrade. But I lost all my gold, so it's like it sucks right now because uh, of that huge fuck-up that I did. I died. I shouldn't have died. That was stupid. But honestly, in this game, I've never been attacked by zombies, so I didn't I didn't even know that was a thing. Alright, at least we got lots of resources now, so we can upgrade this shit and hopefully survive the next wave. We should be okay now. I think I think I think we got over that minor upset there. Night is fast approaching though, so we do have enough time at least. 
to upgrade these things. So there we go. We got all our weapons at tier three. Uh, now I just need to add these walls down, which I should probably do as quickly as possible. And I'm out of wood again. Oh my god, the wood issue is real. And I lost my uh, bomb as well, so I can't do anything right now aside from gather. And I think that's... Oh god, here we I'm getting de deja vu. It's much safer on this side, I guess. Uh, but I think... Oh, yeah, we're, we're, we're doing good now. They're not even getting in uh, th through the wood, so we should be okay. And hopefully I got enough time to deal with these walls, and hopefully I get enough money to get to the next tier, because that really slowed me down. We're back in 6th place, though. We actually dropped to 10th, and now we're back in 6th, so things are going our way. It's just, uh, just a minor setback there. No big deal at all. All right, so that should be enough for right now. Let's focus on upgrading these things, getting this outer wall safe. And we should be good. All right, it's looking good in here. Night is quickly approaching. Uh, and that's fine because we did it, guys. We made it. I got all my walls pretty much done. I think I might just focus on upgrading these walls throughout the fight as well. Uh, get this mid-tier wall hopefully upgraded as well. Yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, may as well just start from somewhere around here. And here they are with their cleavers and everything. Oh, man, they got a lot of actual enemies now. Am I... Uh, okay, I'm still upgrading. Uh, it's actually, I, I'm being disoriented now with all these friggin' zombies around. Oh god, they are breaking it, so let's try and reinforce any of the breaks that come in. Uh, like that, for example. Oh my god, they're actually making a good way in here. Ah, oh, god, I thought I was doing good, and this happens. Like, look at this, this is crazy. Alright, well, upgrade as much of this as possible, and when you do upgrade things, I don't know if you've noticed, but the health is regen. So especially with, the, like, these damage things, if you upgrade them... It's going to help out a lot later on. Ah, uh, oh fuck. Oh my god, there's so much to do. There's always just so much to do. So I think I'm going to take a huge risk here, and I'm going to not focus on the walls. I know I probably should, but I want to get to the next tier of weapons because we need that damage. So uh, I'm going to gather a little bit right now for a little bit more of the day. Hopefully I have enough to upgrade all my internals. And we should be okay. We'll quickly patch up some of this. But I am not going to upgrade these once again to a better tier. Just because they don't last very long right now. And I need to focus on the weapons. So, okay. Now we can finally... Oh, wait. Is it... It's 16,000. I thought it was 10. Okay. Now, now, now I'm back to square one. I do have to upgrade these damn things. <laughs> on a good note, I think we got another zombie night. So, uh, it couldn't come at a better time. I'm waiting patiently for my money now. Uh, we need 16,000, but at least I've had time to actually upgrade pretty much all of these walls, too. So we just need to plan a few more, but aside from that, we're back to Tier 3 walls. This time, all the way through, which is huge. Okay, so day's halfway over. Once again, I wanted to get a bunch of resources so I can... This looks like it's not upgraded. Yes, it's not. So I can upgrade my weapons as well. So we're going to upgrade that. We're going to upgrade all the... Oh, I need gold to upgrade shit. I forgot... I should have waited a little bit longer for more gold. Uh, but yes, we need gold to upgrade the weapons as well. So do I upgrade the gold mines first to earn money quicker? Or do I upgrade the weapons to deal with this next wave? Decisions. Oh, God. Okay, so there's some very big guys here. I think we're going to... Let's just upgrade as much as we can in here. And hopefully... I mean, we should be able to hold out. I gotta assume anyways. I hope so. Because <laughs> this is going to be difficult. Oh, they're everywhere! Like, quite literally- Oh my god, they're gonna get in at some places, and I don't got any weapons right now. Okay, we survived it. We lost a lot of our walls once again, but we survived it, and we upgraded to the next tier. So, what I gotta focus on now is basically upgrading everything. So, uh, definitely get the gold early on here, earn as much gold as possible. And, like, still, I don't- I don't gotta- I'm not earning enough gold to earn more gold, damn it! So I guess all we can really do today, or the best thing we can do today, is focus on repairing these walls and hopefully surviving another wave of these dirty bastards. Uh, we should be able to upgrade the weapons quickly at least, so we can just do that throughout uh, the next wave coming in. And if we have enough time, we should be able to upgrade these walls as well. Alright, there we go, just like that. Alright, let's go back inside, upgrade all my gold earners, and hopefully... i got to assume, with these things being upgraded, I should earn 600 gold really quickly. So every upgrade... Oh, now we have wood issues, of course. Now you're just fast approaching. I didn't realize upgrading those gold things would use so much damn wood. So, in retrospect, I probably should have built around this thing, because I could definitely earn more gold at night, or earn more resources at night, rather, and that would help me out a lot. Oh god, what are these things? Okay, we, we, we need, we need uh, some weapons now. So we're going to upgrade the bomb once again. Mind you, it is such a small bomb, I don't know if it's going to help too much, but at least we got some upgraded weapons now. 
God, look at this. How am I supposed to survive this? What, what, what are we on? Wave 19? Okay, I can't wait to see what wave 20 is. This is crazy. And they're in. They got in, guys. Oh, God. This is... <laughs> I thought we were doing good. Okay, I'm thinking at this point, screw the outside wall because it's not really helping too much uh, and I don't really have time to set it up again. I think we're just going to focus on building a wall inside as quickly as possible. Uh, let's focus on upgrading these weapons today, though. I think we should be able to survive a few more waves with these lacking walls. So, uh, I just really... I need money, damn it. That's my issue right now, is money. So, thankfully, I upgraded those wells, or most of them. It looks like this one still needs an upgrade. There we go. Uh, we are earning money a lot quicker now, but... I'm just getting overrun by these damn zombies. Mind you, we made it to third, so we're doing good. We're doing something right. It's just a constant struggle, man. Like, it, it does not let up. All right, night is fastly approaching. We're, uh, we got decent money now, at least. Uh, I'm having resource issues, though, so hopefully I can upgrade this hatchet soon if I have time. Uh, I'm just gonna focus on upgrading all the weapons, so I need some more resources to do that. All right, nighttime has started, so let's upgrade these as quickly as possible. Oh, God. Okay, there's a lot of people here. Hey, guys. Uh, my bomb's not really gonna help too much, so I'm just gonna stand out of the way here and try and upgrade all these things, so hopefully my weapons can do the hard work for me. Yeah, that's fine. Just knock down those walls. I didn't want them anyways anymore. Okay, we are out of resources, so again, I'm not really gonna help too much, so we're just gonna go back to my resource gathering and try not to waste too much of tomorrow. I don't got really any walls left though, so this is gonna be fun. Uh, man, I, re I really like that wall design though. I hope I can do it again. I don't think I got enough time though. Okay, so how much is the next hatchet? It is 8,000. I, I, I gotta buy it because I need so much resources right now that it would be stupid for me not to buy that once I hit 8,000 here. Mind you, it might be smarter to upgrade my bomb as well, but screw it. I, I am not about smarts, I am about usefulness, and the pickaxe is very useful right now. So now we got a blue one that is so much faster. Look at this. Okay, so that should be more than enough resources right now. I do need to put some walls in. That would be smart. So at this point, I think I'm just going to build a big square, guys, because I don't really got time to try and build something perfect here. All right, so there's a very big square, so we are going to upgrade the outside walls to the white ones that way. Hopefully, they will hold up for a little bit, and we'll have enough time to actually focus on building a castle again. Right now, I'm in I'm, I'm, I'm in defense mode. I don't got a choice but to just try and bunker down as best possible. And here they come. All right, I'm going to upgrade these walls still. Oh, these damn blue bastards. You freaking smurfs from hell. That's what you are. Oh, my God. Did they... Oh, they already destroyed this side. Holy shit. Look at this. Okay. Oh, I, I can't. I can't. Okay. Oh, God. This is bad. This is real bad. Okay, they're breaking in. They're breaking my gold things now. Yep. I don't like these blue guys at all. <laughs> <sighs> okay, we survived it. Uh, how many gold things do I need? I definitely want to get my gold things down. So let's get that down. Yeah, we actually lost most of our gold mines. So this is getting really ugly. But uh, at this point, it's all about speed, guys. So we're going to upgrade these, start earning some more gold. Because the more gold we earn, the quicker we can get to the next tier. And we need that next tier, I think. All right, but we also need defenses because we are going to get screwed today if we don't get more defense, especially on this side. Uh, so, yeah, we're just going to, uh, once again, try and upgrade these damn walls. Hopefully it actually works this time. I doubt it, though. I, I don't have enough time to do anything in this game. It is just a constant struggle. And that, that's, the, that's, that's the definition of a good tower defense game, though, when you have to utilize all of your time. Actually, this might be good. I'm hoping these white blocks are really, really strong and can hold out. Because uh, we got both sides done now. And the middle is actually looking okay. Alright, so this is going to be fun. I'm going to try and attack anyone that they attack so I can upgrade these things. Because you can see they actually reset when you do upgrade them. Alright, they're so quick right now that I just need to... <laughs> I need to upgrade every, everything. This is getting dangerous. Alright, they're breaking everything. Come on, just got to upgrade. I'm constantly upgrading while they're breaking them. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, there's too many. Alright, bomb time. Here we go. These bombs don't seem to do anything, it feels like. God damn it. But we did survive <laughs> once again. Another night. Oh, just either kill me or let me survive, damn it. This is too much of a, a stressful mission right now. Good news, though. We hit second place. I would love to beat Beast, but he's about double me right now. I don't know how he's doing it. He's only on wave 11, so I'm assuming he might be PvPing a little bit. Uh, had to get more resources. I also had to hurt, earn more gold. I spent so much on these white things that I lost all my gold. So we definitely want to upgrade these. 
Uh, I can't even afford to upgrade them right now, of course, so... I guess we're just gonna have to deal with our gold issues. Alright, here they come. Great, thanks for not giving me any time at all. Uh, you blue bastards! I don't know what you guys are, and like, I, I, I don't understand it, because they don't attack me, so they're not zombies. Are they leprechauns? Like, what? They just, they just want the fucking gold. That's all they want. Alright, that white did not last as long as I hoped for, because these guys are getting right in. This is... My god, they don't stop! Just... Can't you understand that I'm struggling right now, game? I don't need any more blue smurf bastards attacking me. Somehow, once again, though, this wall is just enough to survive another wave. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. My hand hurts from all this wall building. All right, let's build another wall. All right, let's make sure we got all of our weapons, too. Oh, mage towers are missing everywhere. So, thankfully, we can utilize these things to uh, hopefully be attacked. Uh, alright, so, again, we need to get our gold up. We, uh, don't have much gold earning right now. It seems really, really slow. How much gold thingies do I- Oh, I have- Ah, <laughs> uh, that would explain it. I have one gold mine. I don't see these things go away. I, I don't pay attention to them because they're, well, something that I don't really need to pay attention to. But obviously, uh, yeah, we need some of these things, so... That would explain why I'm earning so little gold. Sorry about that, guys. I never said I'm good at these games. Uh, that placement was probably stupid as well, because now they can simply break in and destroy all my gold mines. But honestly, I need my weapons more than my gold right now, so I don't really care. Let's just upgrade some of these further ones so we can earn some serious dough here. And here they come! Uh, this seems to be hopefully a nicer wave? I really hope a nicer wave, because I need a break. I don't even got- I got wooden walls right now. Yeah, there's a lot less here, so this is good. Uh, this shows that we might be able to survive this one, but they are still coming in, so I think it's just a slow spawning wave to troll me and think it's an easy one, but of course it's not. Alright, you bastards, please just... Again, we survived, but again, they took away everything. Once again, night is fastly approaching, and looking at the leaderboard, I, I gotta give myself a pat on the back, because I'm at wave 24, nothing is even close to me on the leaderboard right now. Alright, once again, I'm gonna upgrade these gold things. Why? I don't know. You know what? Actually, I can get to 10,000 gold, and I can take a timeout. So that's my goal right now. Earn enough money to take a timeout and hopefully rebuild. And of course, kill these bastards before they kill all the gold mines that I just put down! Ah, uh, it's my own damn fault, though. I should focus on the walls, but I can't focus on the walls because I'm trying to get weapons down. I mean, it is just... You need to keep your momentum, because, uh, once you start, you know, slacking, that's when all hell breaks loose. And look at this, like, I have nothing left. I, ugh. That's, this is just, this is just crazy. Alright, well, at this point, I don't even know what to do, so we're just gonna put down all of our weapons once- Oh, we can't put down all our weapons, because we have no wood! How the fuck do I have no wood? Like, this is crazy. Okay. At least I have one good thing going on. I got a decent hatchet. That's, that, 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 that's my only benefit right now. Alright, well, I only have a day to do anything, so, man, it's just, it's not gonna happen, guys, because oh, it takes so much money to put down the weapons and then to upgrade the weapons, so I need at least, like, 500 wood right now, and, like, the day's halfway over already. <laughs> I have no time to do anything. Alright, so let's start putting some of this stuff down, and we're just going to try and spread it out as much as possible, and, uh, yeah. Try and survive this hellhole. Night is fast approaching. Thanks, game. I, I, I haven't even upgraded these things yet. All right, we should probably upgrade them at least uh, to make them actually useful. So let's focus on upgrading everything that we got down right now, and then we will place some more down. But, as you can see, we have to gather more materials because we're out of everything. We're out of fucking everything. I hate you guys. I hate you bastard smurfs. Can you guys please go away? Just, like, seriously go away? Yeah, you guys aren't going away. Okay, well... It was a good run, I think. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Let's try and hit these guys because they did break in. Uh, my gold mine is being damaged a little bit, but I think maybe I can survive it. Oh, this is fucking crazy. Okay, yeah. The gold mine, thankfully, has a lot of HP. But it's, it's, not, it's not looking good for tomorrow. Oh, fuck. Nope. It's going. I, don't, I can't do anything. Ah, oh, shit. 26 waves. With a final score of 4,000, sorry, not 4,000, that's way up, 451,380. Alright, well, second place, I'll take it. Uh, that was really freaking difficult, and I, I really like this IO game, because it's not like other IO games, we hardly saw anyone in this episode, and it was really just focused on the zombies, so it's an interesting experience. If you guys do want to see some more of this, let me know in the comments below, I know being a PvPer is a good 
strategy as well, so maybe we can try that out, see how many people we can take down and how much score we can get doing that. Let me know in the comments below if you guys do want to see that. Once again, this is Zoms.io. Thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I will see you in the next one.